Um, but I want to address Marilyn Wilson's comment because that's a very valid point. And that's something that I honestly struggle with, not struggle with, but just myself kind of go back and forth with. She says, he's aiming at the YouTube money instead of sneakers. They lose me. Okay. So, okay, I understand that from your perspective as the viewer, right? But, like, bro asked me a question at the beginning, like, what's, what's, what side hustle has you, have you profited from the most? You know what I'm saying? And YouTube is by far, by far in the lead. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, here's the thing. You do less and make more on YouTube, right? And when I say do less, it's making videos is easier than getting out in the trenches like bro we just watched every single day you know what i'm saying and with the sneaker market kind of dying like the youtube money is is good you know what i mean and ultimately everybody's in the sneaker business to make money you see so when the money when the money is that good bro it's 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 hard to it's hard to put sneaker reselling or anything above making content you see what I'm saying? Because that's that's like selling. That's like selling Travis's every single day, if that makes sense. So y'all know what I like the most about my boy, man? I like his on-camera energy, bro. Like, bro, bring that energy on camera every single time. Like, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I respect what he do, and I wonder why. Because he, he pulls the views, bro. He does the views. So I don't understand why he's not already at 100k bro should be way past 100k honestly he should be he should be way past because he pulled he does good views bro um and like i said i like his on-camera energy dude like i ain't gonna lie it's not easy at least from my point of view to make sneaker reselling content every day